The differences between printing with Plastisol versus water-based ink are going to fall into a couple of categories. Number one, how that ink feels when you print it on the shirt. Number two, how you're actually going to be printing that ink and how quickly you need to start working with it. Number three, the chemicals that you're going to be using with that ink. And finally, number four, how to cure it properly so that your customer and you are both satisfied. Now with Plastisol, it's a thicker ink, so it's going to have a thicker feel to it. While water-based, it's actually going to be dying into the fabric. So you're going to have a very soft hand or even what some people call no hand feel. Plastisol sits on top of the fabric, again, versus the water base, which sits into the fabric. And if we look at the actual ink, you're going to see right here that we have really easy flowing ink. Okay, Stirs easy, works well. Now this is water base. And even if we poured it out onto a screen, like you see right here, it comes out nice and easy for us. Right? Now, Plastisol, when we look at it, you see that it's kind of thick. All right? It's going to have a lot of particles in it. And this is one way that we're able to actually build a lot of really good color on it. But if we go to pour it out on the screen, it's not going anywhere. We actually got to kind of scoop it out onto there for us. Okay? And kind of pull it across. Next, we'll talk about how you actually print it and pushing of the squeegee. With Plastisol ink, we can actually go ahead, put it into the screen, and walk away for lunch, do whatever we'd like, because Plastisol is not going to cure until it gets to 320 degrees. Now, because water-based is a water-based ink, then we're actually going to do what's called active printing. When we get it into the screen, we need to go ahead and quickly start printing with it. And if we want to leave for lunch or anything like that, we've got to clean it out of the screen. If we don't do so, it'll actually start to dry up within the screen, and we'll have a lot of problems with that. Ways that we can get away from having ink drying in the screen is going to be partly with these different screen openers. Now this one, the 32, is actually made for water-based inks. We also have another one right here that's going to be a good all-around use for Plastisol solvents, water-based inks as well. It's good to have both of these in your shop. Mostly used for Plastisol, definitely used for water-based inks. Curing is by far one of the most important parts of the printing process. If you don't cure a shirt correctly, no matter what kind of ink it is, you're going to have a couple things that could possibly happen. One, it's not going to hold up well in the wash. Two, it's not going to be a very nice and vibrant print. And three, your customer is not going to be happy, which no shop owner wants. So, curing is definitely different between Plastisol and water base. With Plastisol, we have to bring it up to a temperature of 320 degrees or a little higher. Once it hits that number, we're golden, we're good to go, and it's been cured correctly. Water-based, on the other hand, needs to be brought up to a temperature around 320 degrees and kept there. Or you have to use forced air flashing or curing for you to actually push those water vapors out. Because there is water in the ink, not only do we have to heat it up, but we have to allow the water to leave the ink to do the final cure. This is the number one problem that people have when they switch from Plastisol to water-based. So make sure that you're curing it correctly. Remember, Plastisol, 320 degrees or above, Perfect. Water base, got to give it time to push the water vapors out, preferably also using forced air flash dryers and conveyor dryers. Chemicals, yet another thing that's going to be different between printing Plastisol and water based ink. Before you get to the press, you need to, of course, go ahead and figure out if you're going to print either or. Because with Plastisol inks, we can use just a regular dual cure emulsion that's going to work just fine for that. With water-based inks, however, we need to use an emulsion that is going to be water-resistant, a lot more than you would with a Plastisol ink. The reason being because if we don't have the correct emulsion, the water-based ink will actually start to degrade and deteriorate that stencil that you've worked so hard to make. So there's a couple different things you can do. One thing that I really recommend is using a hybrid emulsion, like WVP. Hybrid emulsions allow you to switch back and forth to whether you're going to be using the Plastisol or the water-based. Also, it's great for you people who are kind of deciding if they want to switch from Plastisol to water-based or even going into Discharge, which remember, Discharge is a type of water-based ink. Now, if you're only going to be printing just Plastisol ink, something like DXP or something along the lines of Hi-Fi is also going to be fine, too. We don't have to worry about it being totally water-resistant because, remember, Plastisol is a plastic-based ink. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more from RP Digital and Ryanet.